Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be your weekly reading for the month of June, hopefully the one of a few. Hopefully there's multiple weekly readings for each sign. But right now we are just going to focus on this message. And um, so if you haven't seen the first video for Capricorn, so the monthly video for June in your sign, I would check that out because it was kind of deep. It was very, um, it was very profound. Uh, there was some talk about what you deserve and what you're willing to um, deal with and the fact that not everything is as it seems from what I remember. So let's pick up on your energy right now and see what messages are coming through for you for this week whenever you are watching it in June. And again, messages are general, so if everything does not resonate, that is okay. Feel free to check out your other placements for a more um, overall message. All right, Capricorn, let's see. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. So I'm getting the idea that some of you may be in denial about something or, or don't get mad at me just yet. I'm only saying the word denial because usually the Two of Swords is about not wanting to see something for what it is or not wanting to face something. But let's, let's take a second. Let's look at the cards. Um, so we have the Ten of Wands. The Two of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Knight of Swords, the Sun, the Three of Pentacles, Temperance, and Judgment. So I get the feeling that you are waiting for someone to make some sort of movement, some sort of decision. Um, there's a connection here that is really important to you. Um, and I get the feeling that it brings you a lot of happiness. Uh, but there's still some sort of... Um, I get the... Okay. I get the sense that someone is stressing out and it's not allowing them to see this connection clearly. I feel like someone just has so much on their mind, a lot of responsibilities, or they just have a lot going on and they're not able to really put in the same amount of effort that you expect them to. So I see you really waiting for this person to finally be like, hey, I'm ready to do this. Um, and I get with the with the temperance and the judgment, I get that you are starting to question how much are you willing to wait for this person to finally come through in the way that you want them to. Because with the lovers, the sun, and the three of pentacles, I get the sense that this is only going to work if they kind of put their end of, of the bargain. Is that how the saying goes? Whatever, you understand what I mean, right? So this can only really work out if the other person is willing to put in that same amount of effort. And I think that either they have a lot on their plate or you have a lot on your plate and you're kind of juggling. You're juggling these responsibilities and you're starting to think, okay, what do I have to prioritize? Do I prioritize the connection? 
do I prioritize my happiness? Are you waiting for them to come through with some sort of information? And until then, you kind of just have to, you know, wait because you can't really make a decision unless they come through, you know? So there's, there's a lot of um, you wanting something, but then also just waiting, like waiting for, okay, when is this, when is this going to happen? And right now your judgment call is to maybe you're just choosing to kind of not see it for what it is just yet. Maybe you're being understanding of the other person. I feel you having a very compassionate um, disposition here. I feel you are trying your best to be more empathetic with this individual or maybe maybe this isn't even about another person i mean i'm i'm going back and forth there could be multiple stories here because with the lovers and the sun sometimes the lovers isn't so much about a particular relationship but sometimes it's just about what we want to see in another person Sometimes we long for this connection. We long for the desire to be desired. We long for that feeling of love because we know that that's going to make us happy. But I feel like you also might be wondering exactly what that looks like and having to think about what it, what it'll take to get that. You know, maybe you're considering the work that you have to do. Or maybe you're starting to question um your standards do you have to lower them do you have to increase them or you know make them higher do you what is it about love that you are really looking for okay it's always deep messages with you guys i don't understand okay let's clarify the lovers six of pentacles yeah I think this this really just is about what you're willing to give and take to a person. You know, are is this person really satisfying you in the way that you need to be satisfied? Are they really making you happy? Are they putting in as much effort into this as you are? Is it balanced? Is it equal? All right, let's clarify the sun. Eight of wands. I feel like you're, you're definitely waiting for this person to make some sort of contact. You're waiting for some sort of communication. You're waiting for some sort of declaration for you to feel like, okay, this is actually going to happen. Or this is saying that you're going to receive some sort of news. You're going to receive some sort of conversation, communication that's going to make you finally feel like things are going in the right direction this could also be that you're connecting with your higher self and really starting to feel like happiness is within you you know independently of a relationship i think you're starting to understand that in order for you to attract what you want you have to be connected to yourself you have to give to yourself you have to love yourself you have to look for validation and worth in yourself first so this could be either you are receiving this from someone else or from yourself from your higher power let's clarify the knight of swords interesting all right so we stopped with the death card at the bottom of the deck so you could be dealing with a scorpio and then to clarify the knight of swords we got the king of swords and the eight of swords so what i'm getting here is that there's there's potential for something to happen but i also feel like you're almost you're either not ready to listen to what someone has to say or you're worried that it's going to affect your perspective about yourself or about them so it's like someone is rushing in with something to say something to tell you there's some sort of information that you're going to be receiving but it's like you're almost afraid 
of what that could mean. What what will that do? I think the Ten of Wands here is talking about that that mental anguish that sometimes we put ourselves through when we overthink. It's like we're trying to be so logical and so headstrong about something that sometimes we overdo it and instead we create this noise in our mind that doesn't allow us to really see the potential of what this could be. So you could be you could be overthinking and stressing yourself out for no reason about this. But let's let's see. Let's clarify the three of pentacles. Nine of Cups, yeah. You know what you're capable of putting into something, but I think you're not sure what that other person is capable of putting into something. So maybe that's why this King of Swords is here, because this is you knowing what you are willing to do. It's like, yeah, I, I'm committed to this and I want to give to this, but I'm not going to give to this unless you can meet me there unless you're as serious about this, because I don't see you taking anything that isn't all the way in. You know, I don't, to put it bluntly, I don't see you taking anything that is half-assed. Because you've worked so hard on yourself, and you've been, you've been studying yourself enough to know that if someone isn't going to treat you or accepts you for who you are or give you the worth that you desire it's like you're not gonna let someone else get in the way of what you know you deserve but I think because you're not sure of what this person is actually willing to give you're in this overthinking energy you know maybe sometimes they tell you something that sounds really nice but then when it comes down to proving it you're like well I don't know I'm not sure. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands. Ten of Swords, yeah. So, whoever it is you're dealing with, I feel like they cause you some sort of stress, some sort of worry. Um, again, a lot of I get a lot of this overthinking that they're going to hurt you. It's almost like you're so... I want to use the word infatuated, but I also don't want to use that word. But I think you really, really see yourself potentially being happy with this person. But it's like you still have this fear. For, for some reason, you have this fear. Um, and I think whatever scenario you're making in your head, I think that's what's causing you to feel this way. It's almost like you're creating this this idea that doesn't necessarily have to happen. I think you need to open yourself up to the possibility and remain remain um, optimistic because it's, it's yours. You know, if you really want it, it's yours. But I think you have to really take the time to be patient, but also see it, see it for what it is. So remember we got the two of swords at the beginning? And it was about that not seeing things for how they are. See it for what it is and it might surprise you. I think you're creating these false ideas about what this could be because you're afraid of, of how that could make you feel. I think sometimes emotions are scary and they make us question a lot about ourselves. And I think sometimes you're afraid of that. You're afraid of what these emotions could do. But I think you just have to be open to it. Be patient with yourself, be patient with the process, be patient with the person, and just see it for what it is. Let let them prove to you. Let them prove to you what they're willing to do for this connection. I think that's what this is about. You have to let people prove that to you. If you don't let them prove it to you, you're never going to find out. All right, let's clarify one more card because I, I think we've pretty much established what this is about let's clarify the lovers two of wands you're at a crossroads you're at a crossroads and at the top of the deck we have the eight of cups so it's almost like 
you want this, but then you keep telling yourself, maybe I should walk away. Maybe I should stay and see where this goes, but maybe I should walk away because it's probably going to disappoint me. I think you need to be open, open to this possibility, open to the happiness that it could very well bring you and let them prove it to you. All right, Capricorn, I hope that resonated. If it did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe and I will see you in the next one.